Thank you, Chris. OT on the rise in New York state government, and you paid for it. The state controller, Tom DiNapoli, says today overtime pay in state agencies rose 11% last year. It's now up to over $500 million, 529 to be exact. That translates to 14 and a half million hours of overtime. Three agencies that operate institutional facilities accounted for two thirds of all that state OT. They are OPWDD, mental health, and corrections. I asked Controller DiNapoli today if a lot of the OT is because staff cuts mean remaining workers in places like prisons and hospitals have to pick up the slack. And he said in part yes, but he had this message for agencies. Are your work schedules in, in, in the right order? Are, are you, do you need to have all this overtime? And if the answer is yes, you do, then look at the staffing levels. If you hired some more staff, could you in the long run be more efficient, actually save more money by doing that? Now, CSEA says OPWDD is not filling positions, so yes, remaining employees have to work much longer hours. Now, you know, I'm always tracking your taxpayer dollars. If you have a story of questionable government spending, you can let me know about it. You can email me at youpaidfor it at cbs6albany.com.